How was school today? Good. Only good? No, it was great. And tomorrow will be? Even better. Hang on, guys. Uh, I'll go get Mommy. Joy! Joy Johnson, blunt force of the head. Based on lividity and body temp, I put time of death between 12 and 2. Looks like a palm print in the blood over there. The trophy's the murder weapon. Looks like. Special athletics. I left work at 3 to pick up the kids. On Thursdays, we put the young ones in daycare so my wife can have a few hours off. Was anything missing from the house? I kept some money, maybe $8,000 in the desk for emergency. A neighbor told the responding officers that he saw a bouncy Hispanic woman leaving the house around noon. Bouncy? What does that even mean? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, Larry, I can't find Olivia's ladybug pillows. She's throwing a fit. Look in the van. Or sometimes Henry takes it. She's a babysitter. She's got the kids stashed at her neighbors. Did your kids see any of what's inside? Your wife? No. God. I went in ahead. They waited in the van. Your kids, they're all special needs. Yeah. When we realized we couldn't get pregnant, we adopted a beautiful little girl with Down syndrome. Just kept going. Nine times. Ten. Our oldest, Tim, is in high school. He's autistic, high performing. He should be home by now. Looks like he's been home already. There's a yellow book bag in there with his name on it. Dad. Mom's dead. Just like the Johnsons. Only mine are biological, which is why I thought I should get the show. Plus, I'm a single mother, so it's more dramatic. The show? A new reality show, like John and Kate, you know? Only less depressing. You and the Johnsons were involved in a reality show? One of us was gonna be, and I needed it way more than they did. I'm by myself, barely surviving, on assistance. They're rich. So you called Mrs. Johnson the other day... Just to lay out the facts. I explained to her that I'm much younger and prettier than she was, and that my personality will come across on TV. Don't you think? And you went to see her yesterday? Yes. I must have just missed the murderer. It's frightening. How did Mrs. Johnson react to your arguments about you being younger and prettier and all. We didn't argue. We heard you argued on the phone. On the phone, yes. And I was ready to argue again when I went to see her. But she said they weren't going to do the show. As far as she was concerned, the show was mine. So you're saying when you left her, she was alive? Of course. And I was ecstatic. <laughs> well, show. I don't think anything a woman is involved with could be called reality. Any septuplets? When this is all over, I say we find her fertility doctor and arrest him on general principles. Let's see if Johnson backs up her story. I love these kids, but they sure make a mess. My wife was so patient. Can we maybe talk to you without the cameras? I'm supposed to let them film everything. I signed a contract. So no time off for mourning. Look. I know this seems odd with Joy just dead, but without her, I'm gonna have to stay home with the kids. I don't have any way to pay for that without the show. Maybe we could talk to you out there. Okay, so uh, what's going on? Talk to a woman named Belinda Alvarez. You know her? She was a candidate for the reality show. The producer said she was kind of nuts. Turns out she was over here around the time your wife was killed. She killed Joy? She says she didn't. She said she didn't have a reason to because your wife told her that you weren't going to do the show. Joy wouldn't say that. Joy wanted this show. I lied to you about what I did that day. That's right. You came home. You tried to convince your wife to sign the contract. No. I went to see my girlfriend. 
as hard as it might be to understand, I loved Joy, too. And I would never take her away from those kids. The way that they felt about her when, when Larry brought them home, they'd jump out of the car practically before he'd stopped and run in to see her. Is that a laundry hamper? Yeah. Man's shirt. Larry's? He keeps some stuff here. He always changed shirts after he visited me. Are you sure this is OK? My brother will be home any minute. We're trying to solve their mother's murder. Anything they know. When your dad takes you home from school, what usually happens when you get to the house? My dad is going to bring us pizza. OK. Uh, how about you? You know what happens usually when you get to the house? Darnell helps Amy with her seatbelt. Then Freddie opens the door, and Amy gets out. Then lifts Jane out. And we all go inside the house and hug Mom, except Angie, who always waits for Dad. So your dad comes in the house after you guys? I don't know. Yes, you do, Squirt. You just said. Hey, hey Tim, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should help us out here. Help you detectives? That's right. You, you think you can? Sure. Squirt, you said Darnell helps Amy with her seatbelt. Then Freddie opens the door, and Amy gets out and lifts Jane out. And you all run inside the house and hug Mom, except Angie, who always waits for Dad, right? OK, so on the day that your mother got hurt, what happened? I don't know. You do, Squirt. You're smart. I am smart. So tell the two detectives. Darnell started to unbuckle Amy, and Dad said, stop. So what you, you usually do, your, your dad said, don't do it? Yes. He said, stop. He made us wait. He went in first. That's confirmation. Yeah, what the lady asked for. Anybody home? Hey, the pizza man is here. Oh, I got a pizza for everyone. Now, who wants the pizza? Amy, remember, no pepperoni for you. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We're very excited about this. We can't wait to share our family with as many people as we can. We still just need to discuss it a little more among ourselves. Do you have any questions I can answer for you? My husband and I should probably talk privately. Honey, you may as well get used to it. The camera's going to be on all the time. That's what I want to talk about, Larry. You know the kids get teased enough already. I mean, some of them don't have the judgment to control what they say. We really need to talk about this. The seed of the argument that led to the murder. Now, did Mrs. Johnson ever express that kind of eagerness to be on the show? No. Did she ever even tell you she wanted to be on the show? Not directly. I only heard through her husband. Her husband? How long before her death did you send him the contract that needed to be signed? About a month. And when did you tell him you needed it back? Right away. He kept saying no problem. It kept not coming. And what did you tell him the last time you spoke to him before Mrs. Johnson was murdered? I said, I need it back signed in 24 hours, or I'm going to have to do the show with somebody else. On the day your wife was killed, you left your office at 1215, but you didn't arrive at your girlfriend's apartment until 1. I stopped for coffee. You were thinking that you shouldn't go to see your girlfriend, and then you went to see your girlfriend? Yeah. You didn't stop in first to see your wife? No. To try to convince her one more time to sign that contract? No. Because business was terrible and you needed money. I didn't need money that badly. To do something that would hurt my children? To kill my wife? It was a desperate situation. Your projects were failing. You were deep in debt. I could do something else. I might have owed a little money. But it's not like it was a matter of life or death. Thank you. Johnson stepped right into it on the witness stand. The loan shark, Shiner, will demolish him. He'll testify? He's gone. The cops just called. Shiner seems to be out of the country, somewhere in the Caribbean. His associates don't know where he is or when he'll be back. When did he leave? This morning. They knew. 
The defense somehow knew you knew about Shiner and tipped him off to get the hell out of town. How? How did they know? Oh, God. What? This aired last night. The defense did what you just did. Now, that's reality television. 